Hello folks, this is Alex from the Tandlips Guy. In this video I will finally announce the winners of these two products for my 1500 subscriber special. In the background you can see my latest video I took with my DJI Phantom 2. Check this out if you like epic drone footage and now I will start with the raffle. Have fun! So there were 71 comments below my giveaway video and I already chose 13 comments I liked the most. Uh, you can see them here and I gave them numbers from 1 to 13. Depending on the sequence they were posted below the video. First comment by you know you liked it. Uh, time lapse inside a factory on a production line would be cool, might be awkward to organize, lol, hello from Ireland. I like this idea because I think a time lapse of a product being built would be really cool. Second comment by Shane Bacon. I think you should try some time lapses of plant life. Flowers blooming, plants growing. Also, I definitely wouldn't complain if you made more time lapses. I really like this flower idea and now it's spring, so I'm going to order a macro lens and then I'm going to take some time lapses of flowers blooming. Third comment by Wolfram Stolpe. Hey, nice video. It would be cool if you do some more videos in the nature or time lapses in the night to see the space. Your travel videos are awesome. I really wish you could do more of these kind of videos in the future. So there will be more night lapses in the future. And I also are planning to do a little city trip in Europe. And I hope I can do a travel video there as well. Fourth comment by DYTW, I would be interested in seeing a 3D stereoscope time-lapse or a 360 degree time-lapse that could be viewed using a VR headset. I've wanted to try the 3D one, but I only have one GoPro at the moment. I really like this idea because I already thought about it by myself. There are 360 degree time, uh, GoPro rigs to rent um, by some shops here in Germany, but they are quite expensive and uh, even for one day it's about 300 euros I think. But I've no experience in 360 degree shooting and editing. I think it's quite complicated to stitch the videos from the different GoPros together. Fifth comment by Daniel Schulz. I would like to see more videos on how to do time lapse in different conditions. That's also a cool idea. I'm planning to take a tutorial series in different conditions like sunny days, cloudy days and different times of the day. Sixth comment by CCF. Try to include your settings used for your time lapse. If the time lapse is different times of the day and has different light, just give your personal thoughts about the settings you use and why you use them. Don't have to mess up great video for your thoughts and preference, so you could put them in the description. I think you're right, I'm not going to put them into a time lapse video because I think overlaid text would just ruin the experience of the video, but in the future I'm planning to take a behind the scenes videos and there I can just explain the settings I use and uh, I can show you the tripod mounts uh, or how I use my GoPro. Seventh comment by Swag mich weg, German user with a really interesting username. I'm going to translate the, his comment to you. He would like to see some more editing videos and also behind the scenes stuff. And he would also like to see some time lapse vlogs and I think this is a really cool idea. I'm definitely going to do this in the future, so thanks for this idea. Eighth comment by Derek Norhey. Can you make a video on GoPro time lapse settings based on situations? For example, time lapses on a high volume busy intersection versus slow moving clouds, foot per second on different situations, etc. This is basically the same idea Daniel Schultz already had, and I really like this, and so uh, I'm going to do this, yes. Ninth comment by Alex Fabian. Can you talk more about what software and computer you use? I see you have a MacBook Pro, and I'm just wondering the specs. Yeah, luckily, I I was just able to upgrade my time-lapse editing rig to a 5k iMac. I plan a Q&A video in the future and I will talk about this question there. Tenth comment by Damien Coleman. Hey, I would love to see more time-lapse footage of the morning fog in the hills or fog peaking above mountains. I love seeing the sun rays shine through the fog in the morning. It sets a good vibe. There's a small mountain next to where I live and I think I can just combine the time-lapse vlogs with this style of time-lapse video and I hope it can bring great footage to you in the future. Eleventh comment by James C. Love to see another post-editing tutorial, maybe of how you edit night lapses. Yes, I will definitely do this tutorial in the future. 
12th comment, a long comment by Sounds from the Core. Hi Alex, great channel, been watching your time lapses for a while. I particularly like your motion time lapses. Here's a bit of a challenge for you. Why not try to incorporate a hyperlapse into your work? Uh, not that easy with a GoPro, but I know you have the skill. A great example of this is Dundalk by Mark Duffy. Yes, for all of you guys who haven't seen Dundalk by Mark Duffy, that's an absolutely stunning video of a small city in Ireland. Just check it out, it's really great and he's doing some hyperlapses there. And I thought about making hyperlapses for a long time now. I already did some test hyperlapses and they didn't work out as great as the example of Mark Duffy in his video. So I'm going to improve this and then I will bring it to you and I hope it works out. So 13th and last comment by Wild Camping 101 I would really like to see more work using the filters etc. I found the video using the ND filters for moving water really useful. I plan more videos using filters in the future, example another ND filter video and also macro lens videos. So this is all the comments I chose. Um, to get a fair raffle now I choose the website random.org. Uh, there I put the numbers from 1 to 13 there in this uh, true random number generator. And now I'm going to generate the numbers. So we start with the second prize, the power bank. I generate the number now. And number 13 won, and number 13 is Wild Camping 101. Congratulations to you. Now the first prize, the 360 degree time lapse panoramic head, goes to number 7. This is Zweck Mich Weg. Weird name, really. Congratulations to both of the winners. Um, to the rest of you guys who didn't win anything this time, uh, I hope there will be more giveaways in the future as my channel is still growing. And that's it with the video. Um, I will contact the winners via YouTube and I see you in the next one.